Something about this face that says he's just waiting for that new Jean Grey to drop and tell Scott, I'm gonna snatch your old girl, son. What's up everyone, it's your boy xmanny87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is the fan channel exclusive Cowboy Wolverine action figure review. And before I get into everything, if you could please leave a like rating on the video, it'll show your support for my channel, I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, let's take a look at his accessories first and then we'll take a look at Wolverine here and do some comparisons. So first up he comes with two clawed hands which are the weak kind. Uh, they were already warped in the package, so it's not like the X-Force Wolverine, which still holds up as the best claws, since they don't warp. And yeah, I am really, really bummed that we didn't get new claws with this guy. Next up, he comes with two open hands. I have a little paint scuff right there on the right hand. But yeah, I'm happy he comes with this, because the next accessory is the Red Muda Masa Blade. And this is what I like that they gave us the correct Muramasa blade color to go with Wolverine because the black, originally the black one that came with the Madripoor Wolverine, this one was meant for Silver Samurai. This is the one meant for Logan. Um, I already covered the origin on my uh, Silver Samurai Wolverine uh, review and I also explained it once again on my ranking Vintage Wave X-Men video. So I am very happy to get and Muramasa blade that is in the correct color so it's a nice red blade and the handle is a darker shade of red with some bright red mixed in and now he can wield the blade with both hands but he wields it so much better with the Madripoor Wolverine as he has the butterfly joints man I love this head and speaking of this head next up is the alternate head which is a screaming snarling uh, Logan head and I remember saying in this review of the Madripoor Wolverine that I felt like this was the best uh, Logan face snarling. And I wish that they would do this head without the black face paint here. And they did. And I am super happy because I think this looks absolutely incredible. I'm also glad that they painted the ears on this one because on the Madripoor one, the ears were not painted. So, so glad they did it on this one. Yeah, taking a look at this head sculpt, man. Ah, oh, it's... How can you not say it's the best Legends Logan head we've ever gotten? This thing is awesome. Now, I'm definitely going to show it off on a few other Wolverine bodies, but we'll take a look at the default head. All right, taking a look at the default head, uh, it doesn't bother me as much, but <laughs> the more I look at it, his grin, I, I mean, I, don't get me wrong, I like the grin. I think it's really cool, but the more I look at it, the more he looks like uh, Gizmo from the Gremlins. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess uh, with all the hair, the way it's shaped, and the way his head shapes, he just looks like a freaking Mogwai to me. <laughs> but uh, uh, his eyes are a little off uh, to the side here. Um, again, it just it looks creepy from this angle, <laughs> but <laughs> um, it doesn't it doesn't bother me that much. You look at it from the side here. Um, you know, not the best Logan head look. You know, it's not that bad. I don't know if it's meant for him to look off to the side like that or if he's supposed to look straight. But the ones I was inspecting through my local GameStop, they all kind of look off-centered. I'm taking a look at the hat right here. Looks, you know, really good all around. The one thing I noticed when I was inspecting the Wolverines at my local GameStop is that it has a chip right here on the front on uh, the tongue of the hat. So... I've noticed that with all of them, so that just might be a common thing. So right off the back, this has the same body as the uh, Ultimate Vehicle Riders Logan. Uh, instead, he has a black wife beater instead of a white wife beater. The jeans have a lighter color wash. The belt buckle is a lighter shade of gold, and the belt strap is in black instead of brown. And he's got the black boots. This one has the brown cowboy boots. But as far as everything else goes, the paint... Uh, the hair on the arms right here is a little bit darker. Well, maybe I wouldn't say darker, but thicker. Another thing Hasbro added is that they gave him hair right here. So he has chest meat above his tank top exposed, and the white one does not have any chest meat right there. Also, another thing to note is the hair does not have any blue printed comic shading. I don't know if I would have loved to seen the blue on this now, but I'm curious to see how it would have looked. And now taking a quick look at the rest of the body, you can see the white beater. I like the sculpt on the white beater. It's really cool. Definitely very muscular on the back here. And moving along, looking at the pants, you got the jean pocket sculpted right there. So that's pretty cool. Got some denim stitching on the side. And you can see the lighter wash on the jeans. So looks really good. 
And looking at it all the way through to the cowboy boots. Here's taking a look at the hairy arms painted. Again, it's thicker. And these open hands will come in handy because if you have like a beer bottle prop, you can have him hold it. And that looks good. Look at my man. <laughs> He's happy. He's got his cold beer. All right, now let's do some fun swaps. And I put the cowboy head on the Days of Future Past Logan. And this looks so good, man. Now you have like a complete Brokeback Logan. <laughs> So I put the cowboy head on the old man Logan body and I'm bummed out. It does not fit. So uh, unlike the Days of Future Past body, that one pegs in perfectly. This one does not. If you want a naked cowboy Logan, I guess you can just put him on the Weapon X body. And uh, just uh, cut these straps off and uh, there you go. I guess that would do it. And you could also put the screaming head on the Weapon X body. I think that looks good. No, a lot of people didn't like the alternate head that came with the Weapon X body, so this might be a better choice, even though his hair won't be as long like in the comics. Yes, we got a winner here, man. This is the perfect head. This is the perfect unmasked Logan head to go with the uh, other costumed Wolverines, and this looks absolutely amazing. I love the way this looks. And this is how he looks like with the brown costume, and again, perfection. Love how it looks, especially with this mask folded back. I like that a lot. Yeah, man, this head is such a winner in my book. Totally worth it. The cowboy hat looks great on the white wife beater one, too. Here's the X-Force costume one. Again, it just keeps looking better and better. All right, now to cover articulation with Logan. His head moves that far up and that far down. Left, right. He's got some rocking and pivot. His shoulders move that far up, so okay. Down, all around. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Wrist swivel, wrist hinge, ab crunch moves that far forward, that far back, waist swivel, legs move that far apart, legs move only that high, moves that far back, leg rocker, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and no heel to the broke back butt. He's got the ankle swivel, ankles move up, down, and ankle pivot. And for some comparisons, here he is next to some other civilian clothed Wolverine figures. Here he is next to the Weapon X Wolverine. Here he is next to some costumed Wolverine figures. And here he is next to Madripoor Wolverine with the red Muramasa blade. And here he is next to the first appearance Wolverine. And I forgot to show you how this head looks on the first appearance Wolverine body, so here you go. Alright everyone, that was my review of the fan channel exclusive Cowboy Wolverine. And uh, I dig it. Look, I I'll be honest with you. Uh, this is probably not going to be a must-buy on everyone's list, but I do recommend it. Yes, I do recommend you go get this because this has the best Unmasked Logan head out on the market right now. At first, when this was revealed, I didn't think I needed it right away. But when I saw this head unpainted from the Madripoor Wolverine coming with this one, I'm like, I had to get it right away. Best Logan head on the Legends market. So X-Men fans, definitely get on this. Alright guys, I'm going to take a small break from reviews. I'm going to be playing Gears 5, so I need some me time. And I'll definitely get back at it once I'm well rested. Please drop a like if you like the video, comment, we'll chat about it. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already, link is in the description below. Get your Marvel Legends figures at Big Bad Toy Store, link is in the description below. Share and subscribe if you're new, enjoy the pics at the end of the video. See you on the next review. Peace, peace.